Well, you've seen their bright canopies color the Draper skies. It is quite the sight. Oh, and now, beautiful. Utah's paragliders, they are fighting for a safe place to land. Fox 13 News reporter Jenna Bree shows us how a new development could threaten the safety of these flyers. All over the world, all over the country, people come here to experience this amazing air. Chris Santa Croce has been a full-time professional competitive paraglider for 30 years. And what you see is nothing but clear air out in front of this hill. No terrain, no buildings, no nothing. Even a couple hundred feet down the hill, there's still nothing. The founder of Project Airtime, a nonprofit that helps people with disabilities fly, he says a new development that's coming to Draper right below the South Side Flight Park could put flyers in danger, disrupting the historically smooth air in the landing zone, training hill, and flying areas. This could be the end of the fun and safe South Side that we know. The new 1,000 acre community is being developed by GWC Capital. The plan is for 100 townhomes and 300 apartments. The townhomes anywhere from two to three stories and the apartments two to four stories. If there are four-story houses in front of the state park, then the state park ceases to exist as it has in the past. And so the magic ceases to happen. Yeah, 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 yeah. Heather Maslowski says there are currently no rules in place that would restrict the height of the builds or require the builders to ensure flyer safety. Large buildings create turbulence behind them, and you can't see turbulence, but it affects a canopy in such a way that it could cause it to fall out of the sky. The local paraglider created a petition last year to ask for the governor's oversight on the project. Southside is a state park. Since then, Meslowski has gathered more than 7,000 signatures. The danger of it is a bit analogous to plunking a boulder in the middle of a, a ski run, right? It's, it's, you can survive, you can go around it, but is it smart? Is it, you know, safe? No. Flyers fighting to preserve the unique, world-renowned flight park. There's no other feature like this. We're at, next to a metropolitan area in the country, and I've traveled all over the world, and I've never seen another place like this. In Draper, Jenna Bree, Fox 13 News, Utah.